we're going to talk about our first assignment in Adobe Illustrator. It's on eLearn. You go under the Adobe Illustrator section, click on Floor Plan. Objective is to familiarize yourself with the shape and text tools in Adobe Illustrator. Now you're going to create a new 800 by 500 pixel document in Adobe Illustrator. You have to use at least three different shapes. Now you can use the pen tool, the shapes tool, you can do square, circle, rectangle, and draw an accurate looking floor plan of this classroom using the skills you have learned so far in Illustrator. You can use the text tool, shapes, symbols, brushes, pen, pencil, line tool, and you're going to save it in your four six weeks folder. Uh, here are some examples. Try to spruce it up and color it as much as possible. Here's a layout. Now some of these are older layouts of this room. This room's changed a little bit. This one's a good one that I like. This one is an old, old one. Look at this checklist. Is the floor plan accurate to how the room is at this time today? Are three or more shapes introduced in the floor plan? Did you add labels and colors to the floor plan? So you got to add labels and you have to incorporate colors. And did you save it and turn it into the Dropbox? That's going to be your assignment. We will continue learning more stuff in Adobe Illustrator, but we're going to take a break from the lecture and work on your first assignment for a grade. I want to show you one more image that I did of this classroom, and it's like measured like a, an actual accurate representation of this class. Last summer we had to get carpet in this room so they needed me to create labels of the floor diagram. So I went a little bit over the top and I did measurements. I did guides and uh, a grid. Like if you go uh, view, show rulers, show grids, you can use those to help you make accurate representations. Okay we've talked about these guides here to keep your art balanced, everything laid out equally and they're real easy to add or take off all you got to do is go from the top margin and drag them down you can also drag them back away you can delete them you can also go from the side for a vertical guide you can also lock the guides so you don't accidentally move them you can also, we have this grid here, it also helped me balance everything out. You can go hide grid or show grid. So these are just little things that will help you out when you're trying to lay out a floor plan or any type of drawing that you're working on to keep everything balanced and equal and proportioned. And this is actually like pretty accurate as far as the footage and where everything sat and how the room's laid out. I thought y'all might enjoy looking at this layout here of this classroom. Got the cabinets, podium, doors, computers with tape decks, green screen, table, TriCaster. Notice there's 29 computers in the center. 14 on each side and one on the end. You got the scanners. Then you got the computers over here with their desk. I hadn't seen any more accurate than that. See what you can do. Practice what you learn. See if you can learn a few more tricks. Be sure to use labels and three or more different shapes. And that is the floor plan assignment. Be sure you save it correctly and turn it in the Dropbox when you're done. Thank you all for watching. Hey class, if you like this video, please click like below and subscribe to this channel. Also, like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter.